to surface noise. Uh, for today's video, um, I will be showing off my July records of the month for Vinyl Me Please, hence the shirt. Um, so yeah, um, I have four and uh, we'll get started right now. Okay, uh, so starting up, I'll start off with the hip hop album of the month that is ludicrous. Word of mouth. I love that cover. I don't know, there's something about it, the intensity of it, and the dog's cool. But the look on his face is amazing. <laughs> uh, back, back's pretty cool too. The big dog, pretty cool. We've got our inner sleeve like that. But it probably looks better that way. <laughs> Ooh, got that? There we go. Yeah, I just I like I just love the artwork on this. This is amazing. Um, does come with an striplet. Ah, you can see that. Nice description talking about the uh, southern southern rap um, and uh, his his part in it. Um, so. I wasn't sure, to be honest, when I first saw that this was the hip hop album of the month. I'm semi familiar with Ludacris, but I'm as familiar with his music as yeah, I am with his acting. So I knew some of his songs. Um, but once I saw that this had a few uh, songs like Moo Bitch and Saturday and a few of the other singles that I was familiar with, I was like, oh, I need this. <laughs> Definitely need this. Uh, so, I'll let you take a look at the actual record. And, oh, see how this turns out. Yeah. I love that too, the label there, the, the mouth looks cool. It's a nice orange, orange variant, it's pretty cool. Um, sounds good, I thought it sounded really, really good. Um, couldn't, couldn't, can't really complain about this at all. Um, oh, sorry, get this out. okay. So the uh, second record is also basically the same thing, right? You got that and that. Looks great. Looks great spinning and uh, even just looking at it looks great. Sounds great. Uh, comes with a nice booklet too, right there. Um, this is right there. Um, I think there's four or five pages here. There is seven pages. Um, and uh, his notes were written by Andrew Winnestorfer, <coughs> who tends to focus, uh, do a lot of his, uh, he's usually in charge of the hip hop and the country stuff. So, you know, something to read. A little history about the record. Um, yeah, I really, really enjoyed this record, to be honest, and I'm glad I got it. Um, it was a lot better than, than I thought. It's solid top to bottom. Uh, you don't even get to the, the songs I knew, which was mostly the second record, uh, right from the beginning. It's just good, top, just great, amazing. Um, super happy to get it. It's a Def Jam recordings as well. And uh, yeah, great. Another great hip hop release from Vinyl Blaze. <clears throat> from there, I'm gonna go to, this is, I believe, the classics. Let's see here. Yeah, this is the Vinyl Blaze classics. This is It's Magic by Abby Lincoln. Um, this is jazz, jazz vocal. Um, got that old, I'll take, take it out of the plastic here. You can see that it looks like the old 1950s style. I think this is like 50s, 50, 1958, yeah, looks like it. So this great, great jazz vocal. Uh, love, love, love the, the music on this. It's amazing. Not a big fan of the cover. If I saw that, I probably wouldn't get it. It's just that I knew that it was probably good. Because <coughs> most of the jazz albums they feature tend to be good. Um, like that. You can see, oh, you see that? Oh, like that. 
we got that. As per usual, we have well, the classics always have a nice little booklet. This one by Shannon Effinger. And in brackets it says Shannon Alley. So I'm not sure what, what that means. Um, but yeah, I really love this. This is a great addition to my jazz collection. I uh, was not familiar with her, but when I see that it's a jazz record, I know it's something I need to investigate. And then you get your strip with this as well. A uh, little description of what this record's all about on the back. Very helpful. And yeah, happy, very happy with this. Um, yeah, the fact that I was completely unfamiliar um, meant that the first needle drop for me was the first time I'd ever heard her. So, still need to listen to this quite a bit, but I really enjoyed it on the first play. Uh, next up, um, so the uh, country uh, album of the month was Reba McIntyre. It's an early 90s one, I can't remember what it's called, but I didn't really feel it. Um, I like some of her stuff, but that one just didn't uh, didn't eh, didn't really cut it for me. So um, I did a swap, and I got Sturgill Simpson's Cutting Grass Volume Two. Always, always in the mood for Sturgill Simpson. Any the more the better. Uh, just love this guy. So happy. I still need to get Volume One, and I know he's got another record coming out. I think in August. So, Cutting Grass, it's the Bluegrass record. There, this is limited. This is weird, because it says limited 2533 out of 2500. So I guess this is the extra press? I'm not sure. I'm not sure how that works, but it's awesome. It's an amazing, cool Bluegrass record. And we got some blue vinyl, which would make sense for a Bluegrass record. There we go. That's that. And just happy. This gets me up to um, four records by Sturgill Simpson. And uh, I think I have at least three more to get, including the new one that's coming. And I think there's an earlier one before Metamodern Sounds and Country Music. I think there was one before that, at least one. There could be more. I'm not sure. But if there's more, I need it. Now, finish off with the Essentials record. This is a pretty big deal. A lot of people have been waiting for this. Um, the band did release a box set earlier, um, and I think that they, were, they are, did put out the records individually after that. Um, but what we're talking about is the Mars Volta. De Laust in the Comatorium. And this is an amazing record with some amazing artwork. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. I like it. Um, yeah, it's an it's awesome record. Uh, amazing prog rock record. Um, I knew some of the songs on this. I knew Televators for sure. Um, there's a few others that I'd heard. Hadn't don't think I'd really listen to it all the way through. I did have Francis the Mute. I have that on uh, CD, so I know that. Comes in a little nice colored variant there. Um, so I was familiar with some of their stuff. I also was familiar with that, the drive-in before. So, um, but giving this a full spin was pretty amazing. Um, I've heard it a few times now. And I uh, just, I just totally love it. Uh, makes me want to get all the rest of their actually records on, on vinyl for sure. There's that nice there. And put this back in the sleeve here. We got ourselves also in this illustrious package. We've got sorry poster here like that. That's the cover. And then the other side is this, like that. We also, you bear with me here, we also have a print or a, I guess it's just more of a photograph 
of the guys there. That's pretty nice. Would look good on someone's wall, I'm sure. And, of course, the final piece. This is the strip that came with it, right there. And apparently they have nothing to say about the record. <laughs> it's just a strip, but that's fine. A lot has been said. I guess they didn't feel the need. Anyway, oh, that didn't go well. Anyway, so that is it. That is the four records I got. Mine only please for July. I'm <clears throat> very happy with them. Um, these will get lots of spins. These are all, there's not a bad record here. Um, they're all amazing. So, um, yeah, great month. Very happy. Hope you enjoyed seeing them. Um, I uh, hope everyone's doing well. Um, enjoying the videos. Uh, enjoying your music, enjoying your vinyl. Um, thanks for watching. I appreciate uh, all the subscribers and all the other viewers who watch and comment and like. It's awesome. I um, hope everyone has a good week. Uh, I will be back soon for my next video. And until then, have a great day.